Dragon Ball Super, episode 34, titled, Piccolo vs. Frost, the everything on the Makoto Sapo, or Special Beam Cannon in English. But, okay, so to be honest, if you go on my live reaction, you'll see what I'm talking about. I was disappointed this week. I did not enjoy this episode. It was fucking bad in my opinion, alright? First of all, the Frost thing was out of fucking nowhere. Not the needle part, but the top part about him being a fucking bad guy. I don't buy that shit. There was no foreshadowing to that. There was no build up to that. Like, what the fuck is this? That just happened. Frost is just bad? I, Frost was I'm in my top 10 characters. I loved him. So it killed me. I didn't, I'm giving my opinion right now. It killed me to see him, well, shat upon in this episode because it took it a great character. Great character, but good version of Frost. And they a fucking villain. Why would you do that? I don't understand. But, 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 you know, but, but, there's no point in rambling about that, but I have more to rant about, so. Piccolo goes in in this episode. Piccolo fight. Probably gonna be the only fight in the entire fucking series. You would think it'd be really good, right? Well, fuck no. He, so Piccolo for some reason doesn't even try hitting Frost. He has to die. Let's just jump around the plane and charge a special beam cannon. I was like, oh, oh, okay. And that's what you want to do, that's fine, that's your right. I mean, Piccolo in this episode, it was just a letdown. Then Piccolo in Dragon Ball Z, he didn't fight a lot, alright? And in the Blue Dog, he was irrelevant. But when Piccolo had a fight in that series, they were some of my favorite fights. Piccolo may not be one of my favorite characters, but his fights are amazing. I love his style of fighting, the choreograph when he fights. Like his fight with with 17, amazing. His fight with uh, second form Frieza, amazing. This is amazing, amazing shit. So, this is a big letdown because all he did was charge a special beam cannon. All, all he did, and that's depressing. I mean, Frost being a villain pissed me off. I've already made that clear, but Piccolo did that. We did do it. It had good moments, though. Like, there was a great moment with Vegeta and Jocko where he were. Vegeta is like, I don't care about you. And he's like, I, just, I don't care if you destroy Jocko. I do it myself. He does not care. Like, I like that. Then, of course, there was another amazing thing with Beerus and Champa arguing over the rules. That was great. A little dragged out, but nonetheless, they were good. But in all reality, I did not enjoy this episode. I mean, I did enjoy watching it, but when I got to the end of it, I kind of just like, is that it? Is that the best you can do? This is maybe Piccolo's only fight. It was a huge letdown. Frost, one of my new favorite characters, was shat on. I mean, I'll talk about this more in the podcast when I'm at for it. I don't know if he'll agree, but he didn't say Frost was one of his favorite characters. So I'm guessing, I'm not confirming, but I'm guessing he'll probably agree. He said he loved the frost. We both did, and they took a shit on him. They took everything we loved about him and threw it out the window and crushed it. And that was really angering. Not that it wasn't cool, but it was just... And for animation, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm, I'm really, I'm not. I'm not going to talk about the animation. But it's just... Besides for that, we did get an explanation on Goku, uh, passing out. Uh, apparently Frost had, like, a needle in him, a part of his body. It was a body modification. And I guess it had, like, a, some kind of stain that, like, put you to sleep or something. And then when Piccolo wrapped his arm around Frost so we could trap him and fire with the bean cannon, uh, it would knock Piccolo out. Now, if Piccolo, if that had happened, if Piccolo hadn't been knocked out and had beaten Frost, and he thought they remained like a good guy. I would have loved the other. I would have loved it. It would have been perfect. I would have loved it. I loved it up until that point. But everything after that was just downhill into shit hill. And yeah. I know this was a short review. But honestly, I'm just. I'm not going to make like a 9, 10 minute video of me ranting. I had not enjoyed this episode. It did give us the information we needed and progress the story. The animation wasn't all that bad. So, but. On a personal enjoyment level, I would give it like a 5 out of 10. Overall, I'll give it... You know what? No. I'm giving it a 5 out of 10 on both. As an episode and on an enjoyment level, it's a 5 out of 10. I, I did not enjoy it. 
The episode was not good in my opinion. I came out being like, okay, the first 20 minutes were good, but the last like, the first like 15 minutes were good, but the last 15 minutes were such shit it ruined the episode. But whatever, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. Hopefully we'll have something better next week.